Here we have Dana on line seven, and she's jealous. Dana. Hi. Hi, Dana. Hi. What's up? Um, well, I, I, um, I live with the man, uh, my best friend, who's actually homosexual now. And quite often, um, he brings the men home. And I don't really have a, well, I do kind of have a problem with it, but at first it was just concern. I mean, with all things going on in the society, just concern for his health and his well-being. But lately it's been really hard for me to, to take. And What's hard to take? Well, I don't know. I just, I, I get kind of parental, overly parental, and he acknowledges that. And um, I don't know if it's just that I'm, I'm finally admitting my jealousy or... Jealousy about what? Um... But the, but the, the, the time um, he gets to spend, or he spends with um, his many companions, or not that many, but... Um, are you jealous of... Are you jealous or are you envious of the fact that here he is, he's got friends and you don't? Are you jealous in that you'd rather spend them with him, but he prefers to spend them with other people? Well, a little bit of both, actually, to be honest. Okay. No boyfriend? No. Why did you decide to live with him? Well, he's my best friend, and we get along real well, and, and we've been best friends for a while now. Have you been using him as a substitute to keep from getting involved with men? No, not by any means. I do have a boyfriend? No, but I'm not actually looking for one either. Have you had a boyfriend? We uh, could have a, uh, about a four-year relationship okay. last year. Do you think it would have been a problem if you were still in that relationship? If I was still in a relationship and living with him? Mm -hmm. Oh, most definitely. Why? Then it's, in, then, then it's something else. Uh, no, um... Tell me what this is. If you were still in a relationship, why would you care who he was saying? I guess I wouldn't. Or are you in love with him? No, well, I love him because he's my best friend. I understand that, but are you in love with him? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. If he were not gay, would you be in love with him? Yeah. You get ten seconds on that one. Yeah. Um, the answer well, is... Well, no, he's the very, answer is, he, uh, It's hard to say because he's a, he's a beautiful individual in that... Um, well, physically attractive yeah. and he's just... Would, real. would you be in love with him if he gave out that other male-female energy? Um... I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh-huh. Well, I think the part that's hard to speak about is the part that says yes is the answer to that question. And two, I think that's the part that's making you jealous. Yeah, probably. Okay. But that's not exactly something that one can easily admit to. Well, so easily admit to it, and maybe we can get it over with. <laughs> probably. All right. So you, you have a crush on him. Uh, yeah. All right. Good. We got there. And you're you're jealous of all these guys. Well, yeah. Good. That's what this is. We that's, made progress. Yeah, I guess that's what this is. Okay. So you ought to talk to him about it. Oh, well, yeah. He's not going to go to bed with you. No, and that's not what I want. He's either. not going to make a pass at you. I know. But he's your friend, and you need to say, you know something? I'm having these feelings about you. I'd never act on it, but I'm having feelings of jealousy. <laughs> but I, I... He'll be flattered. He'll be flattered. Why is I I value our friendship too much it won't to jeopardize hurt. it? It's not going to jeopardize it. Mm -hmm. Well, a I... friend of mine died a couple of summers ago, my oldest friend in life, and I'd always been very fond of his wife, with whom I used to play chamber music, and um, I would call her every ten or twelve days or so and see how she was doing, and how life was getting on, and how she was managing the children and and getting back into her teaching program and all this sort of thing. And then one afternoon when I was speaking to her, she said, oh, by the way, I'm dating this really nice guy. And she goes on, and I said, Edie, I can't believe it, but I'm feeling jealous. You know what she said? She oh, just yeah. started laughing on the other side of the phone. She said, David, that is the sweetest thing you have ever said. Oh, well. Totally innocent. Yeah. Totally innocent. Share it with your friends. Your relationship can take it. And guess what? The two of you deserve to be open. And if you have those kinds of feelings, 
you know, they're just part of what happens between men and women, even when the relationship is impossible, even when it's between a, a gay person and a straight person. It's just what it is. If the more open you are with the relationship, the better the chances are that you're going to resolve this in a manner that makes it easier for you. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We've got some more great calls.